All right, so our first book is Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kerr. Miss Spider's Tea Party, Paintings and Verse by David Kirk. All right. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me, I'd sip them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. Sounds pretty good. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. Three fireflies flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear. We'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Can't say I blame them. Four bumblebees buzzed up by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored, ignored her, swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. Poor Miss Spider. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled. Her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. Some ants strode in, they numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. Fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider, watching from the wall, was not aware of them at all. The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company in no demand left her a cup for every hand. Will anyone join her for tea? Let's find out. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm in shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please them, but instead, uh-oh. They flew away in mortal thread. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Poor Miss Spider. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough and turned to see a small wet moth, a fragile thing so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again.
She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. Like she sent him on his way with a piece of pie. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there is no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Look at that, look at all of her guests. We've got 11 bugs. Moth, looks like we have some crickets, some beetles, some bumblebees over here. Looks like they're having some fun. 12 tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place, set by her chair so neatly spun. She munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see she ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew. Before too long, our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their lovely children too. And there's Miss Spider with all of her insect friends. All right, so we've got time for one more. And this one is one of my favorites. Diary of a Spider by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Harry Bliss. Diary of a Spider. March 1st. Today was grandparents' day at school, so I brought grandpa with me. He taught us three things. Number one, spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. There's old grandpa spider. Number two, without spiders, insects could take over the world. Number three, butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. Does that sound good to anybody? Blech. March 16th, Grandpa says that in his day, flies and spiders did not get along. The compost time, spiders and flies rumble in the city. Trash mouth, Hannibal. Just, they really didn't get along. Things are different now. This is awesome. March 29th. Today in gym class, we learned how to catch the wind so we could travel to faraway places. Next. When I got home, I made a flashcard so I could practice. One, climb high. Two, release silk. Three, catch wind. Fly made up her own flashcard. Number one, fly. I'm starting to see why grandpa doesn't like her. April 1st, went to the park with my sister today. We tried the seesaw, it didn't work. We tried the tire swing, it didn't work. We spun a huge sticky web on the water fountain. Eek, that worked. April 12th, today was safety day at school. We learned that vacuums eat spider webs and are very, very dangerous. If we hear a vacuum, we should stop, drop, and run. April 13th, we had a vacuum drill today. I stopped what I was doing, forgot where I was going, and ran screaming from the room. Help! We're having another drill tomorrow. April 17th. I'm sleeping over at Worm's house tonight. I hope they don't have leaves and rotten tomatoes for dinner again. More leaves, spider? May 7th. 
Mom said I was getting too big for my own skin, so I molted. That is so gross. May 8th. Today was show and tell, so I brought in my old skin. My teacher called on it to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. You there, why don't you get us started? June 5th. Daddy Long Legs made fun of Fly because she eats with her feet. Now she won't come out of her treehouse. I'm going to find him and give him a piece of my mind. Oh, poor Fly. June 6th. I found Daddy Long Legs. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I gave him a piece of my lunch instead. He's huge. June 7th, Fly's treehouse blew away in the wind today. So did Grandpa. Off Grandpa goes on an adventure. June 18th, I got a postcard from Grandpa today. Dear Spider, ooh la la, where do we think Grandpa went? I landed in Paris. French bugs are delicious. Au revoir, Grandpa. Leg of French gnat, give it a try. Don't think I'll be trying leg of a French gnat anytime soon. June 30th, Grandpa came home today. I couldn't wait to hear about how he rode the winds all the way over the ocean. Turns out he caught a breeze to the airport and napped in first class. July 2nd, Fly came over to play today. She got stuck in our web and her mom had to come get her. Hi, mom. Grandpa laughed a little too hard. <laughs> From now on, we have to play at Fly's house. July 9th, today was my birthday. Grandpa decided I was old enough to know the secret to a long, happy life. Never fall asleep in a shoe. Wise words from Grandpa. July 16th, things I scare. One, Fly's mom. It wasn't his fault, mom. Two, tiny bugs. Three, People using water fountains at the park. July 17th, things that scare me. One, daddy long legs. Yikes. Two, vacuums. Three, people with big feet. No! August 1st. I wish that people wouldn't judge all spiders based on the few spiders that bite. I know if we took the time to get to know each other, we would get along just fine. Just like me and Fly. The best of buds. The end. I'll see you guys next time.